Yo, what is up guys? It is Card Shuffle 99 here today. We're going to show you guys a really cool card trick. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway going on on our channel. We're giving away three pairs of AirPods. So if you guys want to be entered in this giveaway, first of all, make sure to like this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn those notifications on, which is the bell icon. Make sure to comment at least one time on our YouTube channel. Also, we'll have a link in our description to our Instagram where you got to follow us and also like our posts. And then we also have a link to our Amazon page that will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting anything from Amazon, especially since we're in quarantine. We'll have a link in the description where you guys can check out our Amazon website page. And anyways, guys, we got a really cool card trick for you guys today. Let's get right on into it. And this is called Diamond Cutter. So what we'll do is we would ask our spectator to select any card so let's say they selected this one right here they would take a look it's fine if i see it guys it really doesn't matter and what i'll do is i would ask the spectator to lift up on the deck wherever they'd like so let's say they lift up right there perfect we're going to take their card the seven of diamonds i would ask them to take their selection place it there and complete the cut so their selection is the seven of diamonds so what we'll do is we'll just snap our fingers and we can actually get one card to turn face up in the deck. And it just happens to be your card, the Ace of Spades. That, this isn't your card? No? All right, so what we'll do is, well, we'll just set the Ace over here. We don't need that now. What we'll do is, I, I believe your card is somewhere in this half of the cards here. So what we're gonna do is I think it's exactly 10, maybe 20 cards. I, I think it's somewhere between 10 and 20 cards down. Would I ask the spectator to give me any number between 10 and 20? So let's say they say 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 cards right there. Now, I think your card is actually Somewhere in this 15, what we can do is we can actually add up the digits of 15, so 1 and 5, to get 6. And watch, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on the 6 card, it just happens to be your selection, the 7 of diamonds. And what we can do is, not only that, this ace isn't for nothing. If we just give the piles each attack, we can actually get all four aces to appear that is the trick guys let's learn how to do it so um there is a setup for this trick as you may guess and let's learn what the setup is and yeah so what you're going to do is get the four aces out of the deck you do not need exactly uh 52 cards for this trick um it's just this trick is sort of almost a little bit mathematical so you, you'll see in a little bit so what the setup is, is if you want the Ace of Spades to be the first card face up, you're going to put it face up. So what I first recommend doing is just count out eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just count out eight cards onto the table. Set the rest of the deck aside. You can do this with any four of a kind. Uh, you can do it with kings, queens, jacks, whatever you guys would like. It really doesn't matter um, what you do this trick with. And what you're going to do is you're going to take um, any two. It doesn't matter what color they are. It, it really doesn't. So the ace of clubs, ace of hearts. You're going to place one on the bottom of this pile. And then simply one on the top of this pile. So basically it's eight cards. Then one face down ace, another face down ace. Then you're going to take your ace of spades. Now, um, depending on what ace you want face up, um, you're just going to place that on top of this pile with the just face up like that. Then you're gonna take the final ace, that doesn't really matter, and you're gonna place that on top of the deck, and you're gonna place this on the bottom of the deck. So, let's go through the setup one more time. You have an ace on the top, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have face up ace, after face down ace, and then you're gonna have eight cards. So eight cards here, and then one more ace. So, that is the setup, and Let's get into how to do the trick. So you're going to have this on the bottom of the deck. Now, you cannot really spread the cards because an ace can 
flash. So you can, what I do recommend is the smartest way to do this is just riffle down through the deck and then just have them say stop. And then they can select a card like that. Um, if you do spread through the deck, they just don't go too far to where you can see the ace because you don't want them to select the ace or any card below it. So make sure they do not select any card below the ace or the ace itself. And also make sure they don't select the top card, which is actually another ace. So make sure they don't select the top, top card. Just say you're a magician. You, you already know what that is. You know. So from here, you have them select a card. Let's say they select this one right here. It really doesn't matter what card they select. Um, so the Ten of Clubs. Now, once again, just make sure you don't flash that ace. That, that is really what's important here. So just don't flash the ace. You can have them select a card any way you want. So after that, they select the card. This part is a little bit risky here. Um, having them lift up, you're just going to place the deck down. And then you're going to have them lift up wherever they want. Now, there is that chance that they happen to lift up um, past the ace which or onto the ace. And you really don't want that to happen. So if if you're really comfortable with your spectator, you just say, you know, try to get about, you know, a fourth or half the cards. It really doesn't matter. And then they'll try to get, you know, a fourth or third or half, whatever you say. Um, if you don't, they might try to take up a lot of cards. And next thing you know, they lift up right to the ace. So really make sure you trust your spectator. If you don't, it's fine. You can just riffle down and have them say stop. And then once you get to the bottom, let's say they still haven't say stop, just riffle through and restart. So really just make sure you don't land on the ace or anywhere past the ace. So they go through and let's say they say stop here. That's perfectly fine. They can lift up. Perfect. What you're going to do is you're going to place their card face down there and then they can complete the cut. Just make sure the cards are squared up because you don't want that ace to flash. It's definitely possible for that ace to easily flash there. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to spread out the card, snap your fingers, do whatever you want. And you can show there is a face up ace. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to split the deck exactly where that ace is. So you're going to take all these cards and you're going to say one card turns face up in the deck. And it just happens to be your card, the ace of spades. Now, really, you both know it's not their card. So what you're going to do is you're going to, see, you're going to be like, oh, wait, it wasn't your card. My bad. What you're going to do is you're going to get a break under the top card. You can pinky count. You can just push the top card off and get a pinky break just like that. You're going to take the ace and you're going to put it back on top of this deck like that. Square it up. So the, the two, you have the two cards right here. You're going to square it up. And then you're going to lift it up and you're going to place it on top of this pile right here. Just like that. So basically what you've done is you've taken an ace right here. You have a break under it. And you're stealing off this ace and you're placing it on top of there. Square that up. Make sure they don't get, you know, suspicious, anything like that. And you're gonna, you know, you're gonna say, you know, you guess their card is, you know, 10 or 20 cards, you know, so just say whatever you want. And you're gonna have them choose any number between 10 and 20. So let's say they say eight. So, or why did I say that? Uh my bad guy, like 18. So if they say 18, that's fine. Just any number between 10 and 20. So they say 18. That's fine. So make sure you remember this number. And when you do this, always go to the uh, opposite side of this ace. And you'll see why in a little bit. So when you do this pile, you're going to go to the exact opposite side. You're not going to do it right next to it. You're going to go over here and do it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 so you count 18 cards and what you're gonna do is the cards remaining in your hand you're gonna lift this pile up and you're gonna place this pile right there and it's very important that you place this pile right here because you'll notice this pile actually does not have an ace so you'll see what happens in a little bit so you're gonna mathematically wise after you count down the cards if you add up the digits uh, one and eight or whatever number they chose so nine, and you count that amount of card down, you can do it right next to the ace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth card will be their card. You're gonna place this pile right here. So what you've done is just make sure that first pile is all the way off to the side and the other two piles go in the middle. Why? These two piles have aces. This one does not. 
and this one has an ace over here. So what you're going to do is after you do that, after you get all the piles separated, you can show that's actually their selection. You're going to pick up this ace. You can just tap all piles and you're going to bring it to the other side, place it down where there's no ace. There's no ace here. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it down here and then you can re reveal the uh, four aces. That is the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out, guys.